Well, Sooner football fans, this is Bradley Juby, and after the off week, we're going to have to grill up those hot links in the morning because at 11 o'clock on Saturday, we got the Iowa State Cyclones heading into Norman. Now, whatever we needed to fix this week, we have to have fixed because we got Iowa State this week, and the next week, we got you know who. And hopefully Jordan Thomas, if he's not hurt, hopefully you learn from that Baylor game. And I hope that we don't see a replay of that. Because if we do that against TCU or the Cowboys or the Longhorns or K-State or West Virginia, we're going down. We're not going to do that, okay? But I am confident that Oklahoma will take care of Iowa State. I saw them last Thursday night against Texas, and let me tell you something. They really did not look good offensively. They were only able to get one touchdown. And they got a few turnovers in that game from the Longhorns, but they didn't really capitalize off of them. Now, let's just hope we don't even give them one turnover on Saturday. I do have confidence that Oklahoma will win this game. Baker Mayfield, I believe, will have a big game. He'll probably throw for about four touchdowns. I think Trey Sermon will have a big game. He'll probably have 100 yards, at least. Maybe Abdul Adams will have 100 yards or so. Now, I don't think we're going to score a whole lot of points on Iowa State, but I think we've got what it takes to get this done. But the one thing I need to mention, Sooners, I say this every year before the you-know-what game, don't look ahead, okay? Take care of the Cyclones. Score 38 or more points. Hold them to maybe only 7 or 10 points. I think you guys can do it. Just, just don't... Make the same mistakes you made against Baylor, and you'll do fine. But get that done, and then we can talk about the burn orange. Because I want to be 5-0 and going into, going into Dallas. So, I think Baker Mayfield will light it up. Defense, I think, will learn from what happened two weeks ago. They'll step up. I'm predicting a score of 38 to 10. It'll probably be 24 to 7 at the half. And Kyler Murray might get some playing time in the fourth, but we just gotta see where all this goes, cause because I'm hoping we could take care of Iowa State. The thing with Iowa State, they have not beaten us in 27 years. The last time they beat us was in Norman back in 1990. My girlfriend wasn't even alive at that time. She was born in 93, but... Uh, anyway. Cyclones. I know you're not the best team in the world right now. And I know you're going to probably want to show up to play against Oklahoma. But... I don't think you're going to get it done today. You got Baker Mayfield to go up against. Okay. So, I don't think Iowa State's going to make a game out of this. I could be wrong. I do not want to have to eat my words big time. Because Iowa State is not the opponent to do it to, okay? Take care of Iowa State. And then next week, we're coming for you, Texas. We're coming. So, well, anyway, like I said, my final prediction will be 38 to 10. And, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of not in the greatest of moods right now because uh, we had some stuff happen in Tulsa today. But uh, I really don't want to talk about it all right now. But uh, if I kind of seem a little bit out of it, that may be the reason why, but uh, 
there's really not much to talk about Iowa State anyway, because they've, they've never been super good. I mean, I'll have to do research about the last time Iowa State came into Norman ranked. Now, it's probably been a long time. Maybe since 2002 when they had Seneca Wallace, but anyway, well, this is kind of going to be a little bit of a short vlog because i got to do my Oklahoma City Thunder vlog next. So, well, anyway, this is Bradley Juby, and I'll see you either Saturday or Sunday for the post game. Boomer Sooner, everybody.